Hello and welcome guys to the channel Bullets Garage. As you saw in the beginning of this video, I did a little intro to the GTI. So I just want to give you some information about the car. It's a 2006 GTI MK5 is what they're referred to as. 2.0 turbo. I bought this car in 09 with 33,000 miles on it for about 16.5 and I have loved it ever since. Um, currently, I have 93,000 miles on it, so as you could tell, I don't commute that much. I mean, I drive to work every day and to the gym and all that stuff. My commute to work is 10 miles each way, so I probably do about 15 miles each way, so 30 miles a day, which is nothing compared to other people that commute maybe 50, 60 miles a day. Hopefully you guys can hear me good because this car is modified so it's a little louder inside the cabin than uh, a stock car is. With stating that, I want to go into uh, telling you guys about the modifications in this car. It is a APR Stage 2 tune. has all the supporting modifications. So we got a forge front mount intercooler short shifter, intake, oil catch can, 3 inch catted down pipe that goes to a 3 inch APR exhaust which you will probably be able to hear in the video it's, you know, it's pretty loud in the cabin there is a little bit of noise and drone but that's to be expected but besides the noise the car gets pretty decent mileage as long as you're not getting on it all the time I usually average about 23-24 miles a gallon all city driving which is fantastic so I had the car for nine years now driven it every single day every single winter it was basically up until I got the GSF this was my everyday car did everything with it loaded up the back full of stuff went to Home Depot loaded it like it was my commuter it was my baby it was my everything it still is great car love it to death um, but I don't want to get the Lexus all you know salty and destroyed from the salt in the Chicago winters and all the potholes so this is what I drive as many of you know V-dubs are not known to be very reliable they have tons of issues but I think I got a unicorn here and I don't want to jinx myself by saying that but let me tell you why I think that I've been on the forums ever since I got this car and there has been nothing but issues that people report with this car as far as major issues, boost leaks, or misfires, electrical issues. Like the major thing is the boost leaks. There's thousands of threads on the forums where people have boost leaks. They can't figure out where it is. The ignition coils go bad. Turbos blow. The verter valves go bad. I mean, I, I I feel lucky that I had this car because I had none of those issues. Granted. My diverter valve was aftermarket. I had a forge 
blow off diverter valve which was a metal piston not nothing with a diaphragm like the stock piece that I didn't have that issue I recently upgraded my diverter valve to the go fast bits diverter valve adapter with the stock diverter valve so that way I don't have to service my forged diverter valve so I don't want to be doing much work on this car just keep it as most reliable as, as dailyable with as little work put into it as possible so as I said I bought this car used with 33,000 miles on it with basically all these mods done to it so it was lowered short shifter APR stage 2 tune intake downpipe exhaust and I had a set of wheels on it so I did the math after I got the car and if I was to do purchase all those parts new and have them installed I think that added up to around five or six thousand dollars that I got basically for free buying this car used and not having to pay for all those modifications that were already done by the previous owner all the mods bigger performance it's quick as hell for what it is love it it's my daily it's gonna stay my daily till I run into the ground um, if you guys have any questions about the car comment below I want to hear what you think if you have an MK5 how has yours held up have you had issues on it let me know in the comments below guys thank you I'll see you on the next video